Hi everyone, Michelle with Crafty Servings. On tonight to do an adorable Valentine craft, um, but you can mix it up. You can mix it up and make it something for a different holiday. So tonight I'm making a rustic Valentine project, but you don't have to make it rustic. Again, you don't have to, and you don't have to make it just for Valentine. This one is a Valentine, but you can change it up. You just change out what we're doing. Um, so you can change it up to any holiday, any season. You'll see what I mean, because what I'm working with is hearts tonight, and but you can do it with anything. So, um, so first thing I wanna show you is how we're gonna start it. So I had to prep some of it just because it takes hours for this to do but it's a new product that i've never used it so this is what i'm doing oh it actually has a price tag on i got this at hobby lobby i'm guessing you can get it somewhere else it's a metal effects that's covering up here it's gonna last a long time for a lot of things and what you see i i did several things and i actually did double them because i wanted to try it last night uh, this is a metal effects rust and I wanted to try making something rusty. And it says you can do it on wood, metal, and I just wanted to experiment. So I'm gonna show you the start. Now, let me show you what I had to do. Um, I'll, I'll show you what I did. So here's a can. This was just a can that I just opened up. It was kidney beans, I think I put in chili. So um, that's pretty rusty. And so of course I had to do the cover right now this blew my mind um these hearts are just that thin wood that i got at hobby lobby i used this for a project last week so that's what these are and look at how they look like metal these also blew my mind um look at these little hearts these were these little foam with the stickers and they look rustic look at that isn't that cool so I totally love how this turned out and I'm putting it together in a project so let me just explain what I had to do to do it because it it is a longer process so I couldn't do this on here but it's it was easy um, so you take whatever you want um, whether it was the wood the foam um, and you first start with this primer and you put on a coat and I just use the foam brush. I use gloves I did first time and it doesn't come out very easy. So um, paint a coat on, let it sit for a half an hour I believe, paint another coat on and let it sit for two hours. So that's why it's time consuming. I had to do it ahead. Then you take this iron and this all came in the one kit um, this metal effects iron you paint a coat on let it sit for a half an hour paint another coat on let it sit for two hours and the last is this metal effects rust and when you spray it on so then you spray it on and you wait five minutes spray it again and just a, a light coating and you walk away for like 45 minutes an hour you come back and it looks like that and I mean seriously doesn't that look like rust so that is really cool. So that's what I'm working on with some of this. That's part of my project. So um, again, I like the rustic, but if you don't like rustic, I'm gonna tell you how you switch it up. You totally, you paint this can, you paint it whatever color you want. If you want pastels, if you want it for Valentine's, if you want red, paint it. You can do the same thing, only don't do a rusty can. All right, so if you don't like rustic, Paint it. Paint the hearts different colors. Um, I'm using this lid too. You'll see how I use it. Um, so you do all that. So, yep, Paula. Paula, yep. This, it's metal, metal effects. I wanted to make sure this went. So that's why I had to do it ahead though. It takes so long. I did all of them at one time and I have lots left. So it, it sounds costly, but you're going to get a lot of use out of it. So yeah, it's the metal effects rust. Um, the brand name I can tell you modern masters and I got it at Hobby Lobby it turned out so cool and I just you know I knew it would do it on the can I had no idea what it would do on wood or the foam hearts you know and it actually made them sort of sturdy you know they're not the flexible little sticky foam hearts that you have 
So that's part of the project we're doing tonight. So I'm just gonna set them aside though. And the other part is we're gonna make some more hearts and then we're gonna put it all together. So the hearts I'm making, I already made some and you can see I'm making some fabric hearts and I've got them on little um, shish kebab sticks, little skinny ones though. These I had here, I don't know where I got them. I'm sure they're at a grocery store. Let's go ahead and get going. Um, so we've got these hearts, but I'm gonna add some more art hearts. And what I'm doing is I, I just have scrap material. Um, I already did, I cut out a heart already. I did these already. I'm just gonna do a couple more. I'll just show you what I'm doing. So I just have two strips of material here. All right, and yeah, it is addicting, Amanda, definitely. So two strips of material, I'm folding it in half, and I'm making a heart just like we did when we were kids with paper, right? And that's all we're doing. So, and I'm just eyeballing it. If you're not good at that, then print a heart and lay it on and cut it out. But if you're good at it, I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. It, crafting isn't perfect. All right, so I got two of these. I had them together so that they're gonna match up. And then I'll show you, I did it with this burlap. It's a white burlap. Um, it's sort of a fine grain here. And I'm just gonna fold that in half also. I've got two of them here. All right, so I'm just gonna cut a heart out of here. This one I might do a little bigger. And you're gonna do different size hearts. Um, and because when we put them all together, it's going to be really cute. We're going to use the can. So that one is actually pretty wide, and I think it's going to be okay. I'm going to use that. So those are I, those are the three hearts I'm going to show you how to make. Um, you've probably done this before. I've done it with, I did some mittens, Christmas ornament mittens. Um, and it's hot glue and fiber fill. So I got some fiber fill here. So... All I'm doing is I'm going to fill this, but so you're going to just take your hot glue and I think I need another stick here and I'm just going to run it. I want to make sure you can see it here. I'm just going to run right around the outside and I'm going to do it most of the way. I'm going to leave a little bit at the bottom because I got to be able to put the stick in and if I have to put a little more fiber fill. Now I'm doing it to the outside and I'm going to put a little fiber fill in right away. You certainly can glue first, leave an opening, stuff the fiber fill in. I'm finding it that I sort of like the fiber fill on first. And I mean, there's no, it really doesn't have to be, but I sort of like it because before I tried it and when I didn't do it, it seemed like I had so much area on this outside that was flat. And I want a big puffy heart. So... Um, you can always add more fiber fill in. I'm using a hot glue to glue it. Um, it. This is a high temp. When you're using burlap in that, you probably want to use low temp, so I might burn myself tonight, but that's what we're going to do. Hey, Shirley and Diane. Thank you, Shirley. So I'm just going to finish putting in, I got to get my glue in here. I'm going to finish gluing this up. Before I seal it up, I want to put in one of these just the bob sticks. And I'm just gonna stick it in because that's what I'm gonna be sticking into the can. I said, this turned out really cute. I hope you guys love it. It's rustic, but it doesn't have to be. I got the stick in front of my face. All right. So that's how easy it is. So we're just gonna do two more. And this was the bag of shish kebab sticks I had here, I promise. I don't know where they're from. I've had them here a long time. Obviously we don't do a lot of shish kebabs. And these are thin ones, you could get thicker ones. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do these other two up real quick, and then we're gonna put it all together. And it's gonna be really adorable, trust me. All right, so I did the same thing. I just put the glue around, I put some of the fiber fill in. And you might have to add a little more glue in places. Like I said, if you do part of it, you could stuff it in too. I just sort of, I don't know, I didn't seem to be as full as what I wanted when I did it the other way. But you certainly can do whatever's easiest, do the way you want. So, all right, so this is 
the second one. If it comes apart in some place, I'm just gonna put a little bit on the top so that stick don't come through. And I'm gonna do the last one. Like I said, I already have a few done. Be careful, it's, it's really hot if you use hot glue. You can certainly use a low temp glue. So this is burlap, so I'm gonna put it on something so I don't get the glue all over my table. And this is the last part I'm gonna do, and then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna put it together. It's, so it's it's not a long project other than having to do that rusty can look. And if you didn't see that from the beginning, please go out and check from the beginning and you'll see how I did all the rust on the different ideas. So this is the last one. Just gonna put a little bit of the fiber fill in again on this heart. And this I have to be a little more careful of. It's gonna come through and it will burn. I'm trying not to do that tonight. I usually do, right? Thank you, Amanda. All right, so let me finish. I am got the glue through. I'm gonna finish gluing this up and we're gonna move on. Like I said, I have to be a little more careful with the burlap because this will come through and so low temp would be good for burlap or delicate material. You could use felt, like I said, mix it up. Use pink felt and red felt and white felt. That would be adorable in what we do. You'll see when it's done that you certainly can do that too. So the burlap is a little more tricky to get it to completely go on, just again, because you don't want it coming through the holes and getting you, but you just take your time with it. Hi, Sherry. All right, and let me just finish closing this up now. And I gotta make sure I get a stick in there. Don't grab one that's used already. Put a stick in. I'm excited for you all to see this project because I think it turned out adorable. Like I said, you can do it for any holiday. You can do it rustic like I'm doing it. You can do it cute, you know, colorful the other way. So, and that's the last heart. I still got a little bit up here open. All right. So I think that's pretty good. You guys all get the idea. I think it's together. All right, that's all my hearts. Get that out of my way. Now I'm going to also put sticks on the heart and because we're going to use them in the decoration. And so all I'm going to do is just put a beaded line down. and lay the stick in the middle. I'm gonna do that for each one. Hot glue is amazing because it dries so fast. We're gonna do that for every one of these, even the little ones, and then we'll just cut them off. Um, yeah, change out for season. That's why I said uh, 4th of July, Easter, um, Halloween, or change it out to pastels, um, change it out Christmas. When you see it put together, you don't have to do a rusty can. You can paint it. You can, you know, you don't have to do that. You can have it so it's not rustic if you don't like rustic. But um, I love this look. So I'm going to be me and I'm going to do it. Uh, let's go ahead and finish. All right. And I've got two more hearts to do. Now, these are those foam hearts. If you are just getting on... These also look like they're rusted tin. They're just the pink little foam sticker hearts. Um, if you didn't catch from the beginning of how you use the rust, um, go back and check it out because it turned out really cool. I'm so excited for this project, just how these turned out. I never would have thought you could rust pink foam. So that's the last thing. We got one more heart then. I've got the little bitty heart and I'm gonna use it. And I'm using all long sticks. You can probably cut some down, but I wanna make sure that I have different levels of what I'm doing. Yeah, Bonnie. Um, some people leave the tree up all year long. 
and they just change out and put different ornaments. Now, honestly, what I did tonight, if you just put hangers on and don't do a stick, you can hang them on your tree. That would be cute. Um, I've done some other, you can mod podge on a heart, put fabric on, um, you could paint them. Um, but all right, so now I'm gonna start putting this together. Um, so I'm gonna take my can and we're gonna have everything coming out of here. So uh, set this aside. And so I've got this round disc of foam. I got, it was two in a package at the Dollar Tree, so a dollar. And that's what I'm gonna stick it down into. So I'm just going to, I can't stand up because I have some really goofy looking pajama pants on, <laughs> um, like Cookie Monster and everything. So it, <laughs> I should have been able to stand up and do this. So I won't do that. <laughs> But there, I got it. I had to put my weight into it and I didn't have much weight sitting down with this. All right, so uh, I've got the foam and I'm gonna push that all the way down into the can. And push it all the way down in. And that's where we're gonna stick the sticks into. Um, so, okay, so I'm gonna start and then we're gonna add a little bit after. So first of all, let, let me just sort of start. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and do it so that I'm gonna have it facing you. So this is gonna be a long one. I want this towards the back. And then I'm going to take, I think we'll do another one, long one over here, but I'm gonna do a smaller one. All right. Then let's do this one, but so I'm gonna hold it. I want it about about there maybe. So if I hold the can up to the edge, I'm marking where I wanna cut it off. And I gotta wire snip this probably, or a tin snip, no, wire snip. Um, probably is not the best thing to use on it, but it works. Amanda, I always have my crafty pants. Yeah, I I mean, this looks really nice, but if uh, the pants is like Cookie Monster and and Elmo and Big Bird, <laughs> it ain't pretty. So, all right, so we're just gonna stick this one in here. We're just gonna stick these in and then we're gonna cover it up. So let's put another one of these in. And again, if I move the can out, I think I'm gonna put this one a little bit shorter. I'm gonna see where I wanna cut it off. So. This one, and I'm just sort of building in front. So I'm hoping, I'm sort of looking in the camera to see how we're doing it. All right, so then let's take, we're gonna put another one of these in. And I want this one a little shorter again. And I'm just eyeballing it where the bottom of the can is. Cut that off. Stick that one over here. And I'm just alternating, just trying to put um, let's put a little one, maybe, maybe up here, but it's, I want it to come a little bit ahead of that white heart. And again, I'm just measuring it off of the side of the table. It's nothing precise. And things are flying everywhere. So this one I'm just going to put in and I'll just sort of stick. So I've got to see a little bit of what I'm doing. All right, then let's put another... I think we're gonna put this this one back here. Maybe, uh, maybe we're sticking out over here. All right, then let's do another little, I'm gonna do this one a little bit shorter. And we're gonna have this one in the front. I love this scrap material, and this is all scrap material I had here too. All right, so you don't have to go out and buy everything for it. Thanks, Yvonne. Thanks, Sherry. So let's stick this one in the front. And I wanna make sure that I can see all of them when I'm done though, right? So you may have to play with it a little bit. So this one, I have one over here. I think I'm gonna do one out here. So let's cut that off. Thank you, Beth. So is it, I love how it turned out. Um, like I said, this rustic really, was really cool for me. So, but I'm not done. I'm gonna finish it up so that it looks a little more finished. Okay, let's put one more in. I just wanna look at where we are. I think I'm gonna put that one right in the front middle here. So let me just 
eyeball it up, cut it off again. I might even, I think I'm gonna do that one a little shorter yet. Um, I want the different layers in it. And so I'm just gonna cut it a little shorter. All right, so that's part of it. Now I am going to, let's see, do this first. I've got, um, I'm gonna put a little bit, I've got some Spanish moss here. I always have some moss here. Thank you, Trisha. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this moss and piece it in there. You maybe could put it ahead, but I find I, it's a little easier um, piecing this, um, putting it, than trying to get the sticks to go through it. So I'm just putting a little moss in. It doesn't have to fill the can. You just want a little hanging out. So that's that step. Next is I want to add a little bit more color to it and a little greenery and a little other natural color so okay so i'm gonna take because it's sort of rustic you see these sticks these are leftovers from christmas i'm using leftovers again so i'm just peeling one of these beads off we'll just use one of them leftover from christmas i'm peeling off one of these and if I want it higher, I might end up putting it on a stick. I might do that, all right? Then I've got these left over from Christmas. I'll set that aside. I got these left over from Christmas and I'm gonna use that as a backdrop. So I'm going to cut them off. Thank you, Shirley. So let me just get this cut off. And I just wanna see, I. Probably, no, I think that's probably a pretty good height. And I probably want two of them, so I'll just use the two from here. These were also Hobby Lobby, like at Christmas time I got them. So we're going to add this to the back. Just, I want to see what I'm doing. We're going to add this one to the back over here. How are we doing here? Thank you, Kim. All right, not completely done yet. I feel like I'm being, I should be up higher. All right, so let's, I just wanna add, I think I want something a little higher. Well, let's, let's try putting this one in the front here. And I think I want something a little higher, so I'm just gonna take one of these sticks again and I'm gonna glue it on there. Um, you could use, um, you could use tape, like floral tape to do it. I don't have any right here, but I want this higher. So I'm just putting a little bit of hot glue on and I'm gonna lay this on there. And you're not even gonna see that really, unless you're really close up and examining this. Okay, all right, so this one, I'm just gonna look at what we're doing here. I think I'm gonna, that one's a little tall now, but I'm gonna cut part of that off. I just want it to be up a little higher so we see it. All right, let me see what we're doing here. All right, isn't that cute? I'm loving it. Um, all right, so get this out of the way and then the last thing I'm gonna put in the can, um, and I still have a little to do yet, is the stick, this is from outside. Um, actually, I picked it in the spring. I used it for, um, I think I told you I used it for pumpkins and it has the coolest um, look to it. And it's only because the rabbits chew on it during the winter and they chew all the way up. So I'm gonna put a couple of these sticks sticking in. Thank you, Hazel. Sandy, thank you so much. Amanda, all of you, thank you. So I'm just gonna cut a couple of these sticks just to make it look a little natural. And if it doesn't go all the way down in, that's okay, it doesn't have to. Um, let me just do one more. All right, then we're done. Oh man, that was almost a disaster. All right, we caught it though. All right, so we're gonna stick this one in over here. All right, cute, right? Now let's finish finish a little bit there's a little bit more to do okay so we've got this 
Um, of course, raw stick. You know I always, I love jute. This is the real fine jute. I'm gonna tie that around the can. Um, I'm just gonna take a bunch now. It's a little hard for me to do this backwards. Let me do it sideways maybe. So I'm gonna tie it around the can and then we're gonna add a little bow to it. So it's a little hard to do a double bow on the can to make it look good. So I'm just going to tie a knot and then I'm gonna add a bow to it. So I just want to get this wrapped around a couple times. Does that look cute? We're gonna cut that off. See, and this was really fast and easy too. I know I did the rusty part ahead of time, um, but that, that I had to. The flowers, they don't take long, or the I should say the heart flowers, they didn't take long. All right, so that's the start of the can. Not done yet, don't go away, okay? Um, I'm gonna do a little bow. You guys have seen me just with the little bows. I'm actually gonna do a few of them because I'm gonna put a couple on the on the hearts, all right? So you've seen me do some of these bows, I'll set it aside. I just have it down in my hand and I just wrap it. I mean, depending upon the size you want, I just wrap it around a couple times and end it the opposite way. So this is down, you want this one up, take it off, and then take one more piece and you're gonna tie that. And I'm gonna make three of these because I think I'm gonna put one on each side on one of the hearts. And I'm gonna put one on the can and I got one final touch. So stick around. All right, so I'm making a few of these. Okay, so I'm gonna do one more bowl and we're gonna finish it up. All right. So, all right, we got these three done. We're gonna put them on and then we only have one more thing, which you don't have to do, but I think it's pretty cute because I love this cover. I wanna use this cover, right? So I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna put a bowl. I'm gonna cut this a little shorter. I need to look. I'm gonna put a bowl on the flower over here. Lay that down there and that just adds another little dimension to it okay now I'm getting it on there all right so that's that one hi Debbie from Florida all right let's put we're gonna put this one in the can I said I tied it around, but to get this double bowl to get the extra layers on it, it's easier just for me to do a side bowl. And then let's add this one more bowl. Maybe we'll add it down here. And I think I'm gonna cut these ends a little shorter. All right, let's add this one over here. Now, how many of you are gonna try this? I, I mean, it's so, like I said, you don't have to do it rustic. You can do it cute and with, well, this is cute, but you can do it with um, paint. You could do it with um, felt, like bright pastels. Um, this is rustic, but you can do it different. All right, this is what I'm doing with the cover. I'm gonna glue this cover on here because I love that cover. And so I'm just gonna glue it and just add that little extra touch to it because a can has a cover to it, right? But we can't put it on. Oh, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna have to pick a little of that glue off. But I'm just, so I'm just adding a little along the edge because that's the only place it's really going to touch. That's what I got. All right, I think I do want, I need to wipe a little bit off though because that's gonna dry. This is not clear glue when it dries, so I just wanna wipe a little of that off there. And I'm gonna cut off. Oh, I want it sticking out a little bit. All right, did you put something in the can? Yes, I did. So you can go back and look at how I did it, but I mean, it was easy. I got these foam circles, um, two in a pack from the Dollar Tree. And I literally took the can and pushed it down on it so that it cut it. So I almost had to show my 
um, Cookie Monster pans to get the pressure down on it, but I didn't have to. So, so that's what I got. Isn't that, I totally love it.